Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to uh, make solid um, forms um, using massing and sight and then um, uh, modeling place and then void forms. Um, I'm using Revit Autodesk 2019 student version, um, the architectural template. I have here my level one. Uh, an outline of how I want my first floor um, plan to look like. So what I want to do is up here in the tabs, I'll uh, you will click on mass and insight, and then under conceptual mass, click on in place mass, and then you can put a name for the mass. So let's say I'm going to make it um, north. North building. Okay. And the configuration will change, and you can go ahead and pick lines or whatever you want to do for your drawing. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick lines, pick them so that it is easier for me. All right. And then uh, I can come here, click on solid form. Sort of void form, solid form. I have my form created, and I can come on and click finish mass. Now I have my mass created. If I take it to 3D, you can see it here in 3D view. Seeing, sorry, ah, seeing the form that I have. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to um, add my level. So you click on select the object. Under modify and mass, click on mass floors, and then check the boxes here. So I, I'm not gonna include my roof. I'm just gonna do level one, two, and three for this mass. And then you can see that immediately Revit populates that in for you, and you can see your three levels in here. If you want to go on and make um, kind of jazz up your roof, you can just select the mass. Click on edit in place. And one thing about masses is the solid form masses is when you hover the mouse over any part of the mass, you can click tab, press tab to select what you want. So this is just the front face of it. This is just the top, the roof, and this is the entire um, mass. Well, over here, entire mass, just the front face, the roof, front face, entire mass, roof. So just like that. Um, so I want to, so you can click on this end just to show you this real quick. Um, click, so click out on the top here and I can, you can see that it's giving me my dimensions for this side and click on that and change that up. Let's say make that 34 feet and it elevates the entire side of it as you can see the entire side is elevated i can click on here and then click right here and then make that also 34 feet and then you can see that the roof is kind of like bowing in in the middle um and you can do whatever you want even if you want to uh, make it curvy you can just select this corner or this node right here so this node yeah you can click on it and then move it up and then you can see that it has done that right there you can do that to all the corners if you want just move it up and then as you can see it gives it this unique look so whatever you want to do with it you can do with it so this is just a tutorial to show you how to use solid forms. Um, in my next videos, I'll be showing you more um, with solid forms in Revit. Um, thanks for watching and bye-bye.